You need to take a shot. Good, sh good miss. Good shot. You should probably um, stick to um, raping people with your tentacles instead. Just throwing it out there. Everybody, welcome back. Falcon XCOM Long War. Let's get this to mission. Well, not this mission, but let's go into mission control and see if we can find ourselves a mission. And we have a UFO contact right off the bat. It's going to be another scout. I'm um, sure let's scramble the interceptors. Uh, blast off is still off for a few days, so we'll go with another aggressive approach, maybe. Yeah, sure, why not? Keep tell I keep being told not to ever be aggressive. There's no point in it. You might as well just do balance, but you know, I never learned sometimes, and you know, sometimes aggression has actually worked out for me instead of the other ones. So I guess I would just stick to my roots of being really non-compliant. Line of the hit. You're gonna have to abort kind of soon, like now. All right, we did actually hurt him quite a bit. Let's go with a balance attack this time, because he's just about done. Gotta be. Not exactly happy with how long we're gonna probably lose that um other craft of ours, but you know it is what it is. Enemy is padlocked. Alrighty, so here we go again. Cause here Closing we go, target. here we go, here we go again. Here we go again. You're not gonna land a shot. Contact lost. That's kind of unfortunate now, isn't it? Scramble interceptor. Let's send you is that two of them? Another one over there, too. Let's go with a balance attack again. Alrighty, so let's try this again, and here we go. <laughs> There's two of them, indeed. Holy shit. Alrighty, let's try this again. Is that the same one? Maybe it's the other one. That's the reason why you couldn't go down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, really. Scan Sky Ranger. Oh, so one of them actually landed. Alrighty, so we have an actual landing mission. I haven't one, done one of these in a bit. I can imagine there's probably be a few enemies in there. So you guys know the routine. I'll pick out a squad and uh, we will meet back up in a few. Alrighty, guys, and here we go. We're going to be going with uh, Lance Corporal Dopey. Apparently, I have no other medic that's a specialist right now. They're all either fatigued or injured, so it is what it is. We're going with um, Scout Black Iron, McGee, Nunez, Captain, and the Foods. So that's going to be my squad. It's going to be all specialists and a Lance Corporal. No rookies this time because we're dealing with a uh, spaceship that landed. So I'm expecting a lot of resistance. So I'll see you guys on ground floor. Alrighty, guys, and here we go. So we're on ground floor now. Um, we're looking at, we're, we're starting off in one of the corners of the map, thankfully. But we're looking at a huge fucking map, dude. This thing goes down to the left forever. And if you think this is bad enough, I'm still going. We just hit it right now. It goes down further the other way, even more so. So we're looking at a pretty gigantic map here so uh, the only upside is that since it didn't crash down we might actually find some very good coverage in the, along the way so we have that going for us at the very least but for now uh, I'm thinking we pr probably clear towards the left and then we move downwards so let's see here <clears throat> who do we start off with here let's go with Razor Captain infantry I guess any, any sort of cover here only half cover might as well take that one then Alrighty, Black Iron as my scout. Let's have you come over here into full cover. McGee, we're gonna have you. You are my gunner, right? Um, that's no cover right there. No cover there. Let's just push you up to there then. Victor Nunez, my assault. You're gonna go and hmm. Yeah, go next to uh, the gunner. Dopey. Two smoke grenades and my med, so you're going to be my medic for sure. Let's see. Um, not much for you to do right now, unfortunately. I don't want to push you too much to that side because we might trigger something, right? Maybe. Yeah. Let's just have you hang out over here instead. Not too far down, but just enough. And who else do we have left here? Should be at least one more person down below. We have Duff Foods. He's going to be my scout. Alrighty. So Duff Foods, you're going to probably... For now, just kind of push forward. First turn, we're just going to Overwatch and kind of play a little bit safe. Keep an ear out. Hopefully, we could find some activity somewhere. Maybe up there, where we're heading. It'd be pretty easy for me if it was that up that way, man. All right, McGee. Let's see here. Let's have you push into full cover over here. Uh, Nunez, let's have you go into full cover over there. Scout, let me just hold you off for a second. Black Iron. Did I bring two scouts? I guess I did. Thought I had two infantry. No, two scouts. I, I think I made that a decision though, just because I love um, triggering overwatches that way. All right, Black Iron. I'm going to kind of be a little bit aggressive with you and push you forward here. Nothing over there yet. Good. Good. So we could, we could continue moving behind trees, which is what I'm honestly hoping to do here. 
so I can stay in kind of like some sort of form of full cover here. Okay, got some sectoids out and about. Pretty good. I don't mind dealing with those guys. Alrighty, so now let's see here. What are my moves now? We actually have a shot with Black Iron. We'll look at that one soon, but for now, let's actually just continue moving everybody forward. Razor Captain, you'll go over here. It's only half cover, but it's something. Dopey, you will move... Hmm. Not sure where to move Dopey. I'm going to have to dash you into some sort of cover, though. So let's just have you dash into full cover right there, and that's about it, right? It's everybody's moves. Yes. So let's look at this shot with Black Iron. What are we looking at here? 55 isn't too bad. It would be for the kill. You know what? Take the shot. Now you know. You win some, you lose some. If I would have landed, then I would have been like the hero right now. So let's go into Overwatch, and we'll see what they'll do right now. They will get into some Overwatches, thankfully. Will any of them actually hit, though? Of course not. Why would they? <laughs> Me and Overwatches, man, we have this love-hate type of thing. So you're gonna come over here and Overwatch into full cover? That's fine. What about your friend? Friend's gonna Overwatch as well. No surprise there. Maybe we could trigger one more Overwatch of some kind? Not quite. So just Overwatch is everywhere, which is fine. That's the reason why we brought two scouts, just for reasons like this. So, the foods, you're gonna go and trigger all these Overwatches right now, I would imagine. Actually, let's actually trigger them with Black Iron, just because he's got the angle on the Overwatches. So this should trigger most of them. In fact, you could probably even move over here and get a pretty decent shot. But, you know, let's play it safe. Let's move over here first, or maybe over here. This will trigger all three of them, I would imagine, right? I see two being triggered. I'd be surprised if the third one doesn't go off, honestly. Please go off. There we go. There goes the third one. Alrighty, so all of them have been triggered. Good start so far. Alrighty, and you have a shot, Black Iron, as well? You do. Not a good one, but a shot. We'll consider that one later. Duff Foods, now that he's, um, triggered that, we could probably get a little bit funky with our people here. I could have him run and gun and get rid of one dude already, and that'd still be behind cover, which wouldn't be the worst thing. I could even run and gun over here and probably get the same effect. Let's do that. Let's run and gun in for the kill. with Nunez, and we'll go over here, we'll get behind full Going cover, out. and we'll just shoot this guy in the back, and that should, by all intents and purposes, kill this guy. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Oh, yeah. So that should be it for him. Boom. No questions asked. Alrighty. One part done. Duff Foods actually has a shot here. What are we looking at? 44 isn't too bad. Maybe. Maybe. Razor Captain, you are my infantry, right? So you have no shots yet. You would have a shot from over here. However, I'm not too crazy about the side cover. But we'll be risky a bit. What are we looking at now? 51 and 43. Let's go with 51. Nice, alrighty. Good start. No longer a threat. Are you Dopey? What do you have for me, my friend? Dopey, you're gonna probably go and... You're my medic, right? So no reason for you to be too aggressive, so let's just have you hold up for a second. Butts McGee, as my gunner... Mm, we could move you here and have you take a shot. Won't be a great one, but... <clears throat> it's a shot nonetheless. Let's try it out. Uh, 41. What I could do is just suppress him and keep him there. So, yeah, let me just suppress you and make sure he doesn't move from that area. Why did she say that she's pinned down when she's the one who pinned the sectoid down? Unless the sectoid sounds like my... You know, um... <laughs> my soldiers now, which is kind of really terrifying to think about. Alright, Duff Foods, you could move and probably take a shot. We'll consider that. Black Iron, you have a shot. Dopey, you have nothing. So Duff Foods, my other scout, you could probably come. Is this any cover? It's kind of cover, but I'm not sure if you have a shot from that angle. My gut would say no, so let's just move you over here behind full cover. You probably won't have a shot from here either. So let's just have you go into an Overwatch instead. And we still have Dopey. Dopey could probably move over here behind full cover. How's your shot like? 26, not really great. Let's just have you go into Overwatch, and Black Iron doesn't have a shot from here. Black Iron is my scout, so... I see no full cover anywhere. Nowhere that I'm actually too crazy about sending them to. So you know what we'll do? We'll just, um... Yeah, just hang out there. Let's have you just reload meanwhile. And Dopey, you'll go into Overwatch, and now we'll call it a turn with that one. Let's see if you decide to move. 
Are you gonna move? You're gonna move. So you're definitely gonna trigger this overshot for some reason. And that's enough for the kill. Perfect. Alrighty. So good first pot already. I like it. I like when things kind of work out pretty well. There's a melt canister down that way. Is that the spaceship? Seems like a really giant hunk of mass right there. We'll have to look that out. Alrighty, so right now I'm thinking we just move, continue moving this area, keep sweeping it, and we'll continue doing some reloads in the process, because so far, so good. It's really amazing how much my gameplay has changed. I mean, I'm not, you know, saying I'm great or good. Even good, I would, I would even say at this point. I'm not. I mean, I'm decent, I guess, to an extent. I make a lot of foolish decisions, though. But um, it's amazing how playing defensively, like I've been told to do, has actually, you know, increased my survivability. I feel like I'm making a lot better decisions this time around, so, you know, it's one step at a time, I guess. Yeah, so that is indeed the spaceship already. I'm not too crazy about running into that one just yet, but we still have a kind of a big area to clear out. This is the end of this map, though. So what I'm thinking is we do is we move okay. over here just to make sure that the rest of this area is fine. It should be fine. Yeah, there's not going to be anything over there. So I think we move upwards now. And more than likely, we're going to have to deal with the spaceship before any other pod that might be hanging around still. So, Victor Nunez, since um, it seems kind of secure over here, let's just oh, have yeah. you dash. I'll have you reload kind of soon. Duff Foods will have you reload for sure. Actually, no, no, you're... No, yet. Yeah, take a reload. Uh, McGee, you'll need a reload as well, and let's find you some cover. This is cover. Half cover, but cover. Let's have you re reload. Okay, and then... Black Iron, you reloaded last turn, so let's just push you forward a little bit aggressively with the um, dash, but I have faith in him as my scout that he'll be okay. Dopey, you have reloaded. So Dopey's the last person right now. Mm, let's push you over here and clear out this side as well. Alright, so that's our turn. Let's see where the alien activity is going to come from. Probably inside the ship, if I'd had to guess. Alrighty. See, Black Iron. What are we looking at here, Black Iron? You are Scout, hearing me roar. So this is full cover. Yeah, go over here and go into full cover. Didn't trigger anything. Surprising. Spaceship is completely intact, so we might be able to actually recover some good parts off of the spaceship. So I'm kind of looking forward to that one. We'll have you run over on this side. Alrighty, Dopey, you're cool. Let's see, where is Victor Nunez at? Let's have him press forward down to here, and more than likely just have them reload. It's killing time. It is killing time soon, don't worry man, we'll get there. Alrighty, Dopey, you're gonna just move behind this tree now. Uh, Captain, Captain, where are you gonna go? To uh, I'm gonna just dash position. you for now. And that's about it, right? Oh, no, we still have McGee. McGee, my gunner, good killer, let's have you behind this tree. And that's about it, right? Yeah, so everybody's going to Overwatch. Uh-huh, some Seekers, if I remember correctly here. Shit damage. So, um, luckily we do have, um, a battle scanner. Oh, no, no kidding. Avoid the tentacles, it says. Oh, shit, so these guys are coming out of the woodwork. Like, all over the place, which worries me because, you know, now we have to deal with, you know, aliens from this side and from the right side, too, because of the tentacle uh, monsters over there. Which kind of makes it sound like a hentai or something. Uh, Victor Nunez, what do you have? You're gonna have a terrible shot. That much I can tell you. You could dash over there, but remember, we only killed one of them. The other one kind of booked it back there, so let's move you. Is that full cover? No. This is full cover, though. That's not the knife! That's, that's a knife! Let's have you come over here. How's your shot looking like now? 49, a bit better. We'll consider that. Dopey has no shot. Um, which is a little bit shocking to me, really. But we could just have... No, we can't. Heading Let's out. move you over here, just for the sake of getting some eyes on enemies as well. So now we know where the other one's at. You do have a shot now. 58 isn't too bad. That wouldn't be the kill. If we could get this shot, then we could probably finish it up, assuming both her and the assault unit at Lander hit, so we could get this out of the way. Uh, the other problem is our Seekers over here. So where is my battle scanner at? That's going to be, luckily, on this side still. 
So, Black Iron, do we toss this battle scanner now? Or do we wait a little bit? I feel like we drop back Copy that. <clears throat> and then toss it. Is this the right move? Probably not. We saw them stealth mode up to here, all right? So they should be in this general area, hopefully. Okay, good. All right, you motherfuckers. Think you're slick. So let's see what we have here. Do we have any shots on these guys right now? Butts Mickey does have a shot. 56 isn't exactly great, but it is a shot. Duff Foods has a shot. 91 and 59. Oof, we gotta take 91, don't we? I mean, you just have to. So yeah, let's take 91. Three damage only. Fuck. Alrighty, Butts McGee. It won't be enough for the kill, unfortunately. But it would be some damage, so yeah, let's take it. Assuming we even landed. Oh, we did. Good. That guy is, like, built like a fucking tank. It's amazing how much, like, defenseless uh, Seekers have now. Okay. Dopey. You could potentially get the kill right here. You'd have to land a hit, though. Can you do that for me? Nope. Absolutely not. That would be asking a little bit too much. So I could still run and gun here. The thing is that this guy over here worries me. Especially having a side shot, perhaps. How's my percent? 49. Yeah, 49 isn't really that good for a shot, honestly. Does anybody else have a shot? No, we only have two more people left. So I need to have some people in Overwatches for those um, Seekers, by the way. So, unfortunately, Razor Captain, you're going to have to move over here. And go into that Overwatch. 58 for the kill. I would love to, but I want to keep some Overwatches out here. So, it's Overwatch, and then you... <sighs> I hate the fact that we can't kill this guy this turn. It really rubs me the wrong way. But I feel that if I move over here for the flank shot, I'm leaving myself exposed to this guy. And that seems like a really silly maneuver. Especially how well we've been playing defensively. I could just flash him too. I could just go into Overwatch. Or again, I could just take the shot and, you know, hope for the best. Let's go for the shot. Maybe? Oh, oh thank God. Alrighty, good job, Victor. Alrighty, so again, that was a little bit of a gamble, but I felt like we needed it. So these guys gonna... Overwatch, huh? Alrighty. It's an interesting maneuver on your part. And what are you gonna do? Fly on top of the roof, huh? Or on top of the ceiling? Well, not the ceiling. I guess top of the spacecraft to be technical. 56% chance to hit. And they're overwatching too, which is, you know, something they don't really do too often. At least in my experience. This would be the kill. 40% chance to hit. Okay. Let's go with that one. One damage. Fuck. Alrighty, so you're infantry, so you would have two shots. Can you get the kill? You definitely can. Alrighty, so the commander of the um, Seekers is down. The other one's in Overwatch, so where is one of my scouts at? Duff Foods could probably come up here and trigger this Overwatch just by running over here, I would imagine. So let's do that. You'll trigger that reflex, um, or that overwatch, and then we could either have a shot on this guy or the floater. Whichever one we have a better one at. So Duff Foods has a 59 over here and 59 over there. So same shot. Um, Captain... No shot anymore. Mm. I'm thinking what you do is, um... Probably... Let's push you forward. On my way. Let's have you come over here. Okay. Dopey should have a shot, right? I'd be surprised if he didn't. If she didn't. 41. Not a great one. You know what? Let's just go and uh, steady weapon. Duff Foods, you still have your shot here. And then Nunez. Uh, Victor Nunez. Let's get you a bit closer now. You're not going to have a shot. Or, even, if, even if you do, I doubt it's going to land. 29, yeah, it's pretty terrible. So, let's just have you... Let's have you Overwatch, just in case he gets a little bit frisky with us. And then we have the foods left, and we also have McGee left. McGee is what? My gunner, right? And we have triggered um, this guy's Overwatch. Can I move you into any sort of cover to take a shot? Is this cover? That's not cover. No, I don't think I can move him anywhere to get a shot off. So what I'm thinking the best case scenario is you just move him over here. 
into full cover, and maybe next turn we'll have a shot. Duff Foods, you have a chance to kill either this thing or this thing. What worries me more? Five damage, I would have to get the entire hit off of this, and then this guy... This would be the instant kill if I land. Which I didn't. So I should have probably overwatched instead, but now... I didn't. Don't go into stealth mode, you motherfucker. You need to take a shot? Good sh good miss. Good shot. You should probably um, stick to um, raping people with your tentacles instead. Just throwing it out there. Okay, Duff Foods, you're flanked, but that's gonna end really soon. Dopey, what are you looking at here? You steadied weapon last turn, so can you get the kill this time around? You can! <laughs> Alrighty, Duff Foods, you need to reload. So, let's have you do that. Should probably put you behind cover before I did that, but I'm pretty sure we got the kill here, right? I mean, 80% chance for the kill. Go for it, McGee. Boom, ski. Alright, so that's a sectoid pod, a seeker pod, and a floater pod. Meaning, if I had to wager a guess, we're probably ready for the outsider. Unless there's any sort of a hidden movement. So, what I'm thinking we do at this point is just go into reload mode and get closer mode. You know, um, fuck you mode, whatever. Oh, that's not even cover. I misclicked on that one. I wanted to put him behind here and then have him reload, but okay. No really immediate danger. Let's see here. So let's have you come over on this side, and we'll have you reload. Reloaded. All right, Captain, you're going to also reload, but where do I want you at? Let's just move you over here for now. Take the small, easy approach. All right, so that's going to be alien activity. Now let's find out if there's any more around, any more pods. Doesn't seem like it, so probably we're just dealing with the outsider now. If so, then I gotta say, this mission went a little bit better than I expected. But again, let's not pat each other in the back just yet, because um, knowing Falcon, there's always room for mistake. Quite handedly as well. I want to move behind this tree over there. Uh, Black Iron could potentially do that. Actually, I can't because of the log. I got you. Um, let's take a look. Surprised I didn't really trigger the Outsider just yet. So, you just hang out there for a second. Captain, you are going to... Oh, you're already out of move, so you just hang out. You have to reload. So, let's move you forward. And reload just so you have your full clip of ammo for the next movements. Uh, Nunez, you have to reload for real this time. Let's move you here. Place no more pods. Excellent. A little bit of reload here, and let's see. Black Iron. You definitely have to reload, Dopey. Let's see about moving you, hmm, moving to position. over here for now. I don't think it's going to trigger anything just yet. Perfect. I'm ready. And Duff Foods. Are you the last movement, Duff Foods? Indeed. All right, so Duff Foods, where, where do we go with you? Not on top of the spacecraft. I don't think that's actually necessary. Let's move you over here. That's full on cover. And that way you can kind of flank the outsider from two different locations, right? And that's it. Everybody's <laughs> overwatch. We'll see if the uh, Outsider decides to come out. Doubtful, but there we go. Alrighty. So, let's uh, think about this clearly. How do we want to approach this? We definitely want to stay behind full cover for now. So let me just move over here. Maybe that'll trigger the Outsider. It didn't. Kind of surprising. Okay. This would trigger it. But then I'd be kind of leaving myself wide open for... Bullshit to happen. McGee, you're here, and we also have Black Iron. Black Iron could move over here behind full cover and still have a move. No outsider yet. That is really surprising. So you know what? Let's actually not trigger it yet if we, we can avoid it. We'll move McGee over here. Alright, so you guys just hang out there. You're obviously not triggering it, so we're doing something right. Can we trigger from this side? Possibly. Which worries me. So before I actually commit to that, let's have Victor Nunez kind of get closer. Good to go. Nothing yet. Good. Good, good, good. Go in Overwatch just in case, and let's see, you're good. Dopey? You could have Dopey just kind of hang out over here. Is this going to trigger? I doubt. I would be surprised if this triggered anything right now. Excellent. And finally, we have Duff Foods. 
Are you gonna be the unlucky one that triggers it, the foods? I'm on it, Commander. I'd be surprised. Okay, there it is. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? We actually have a pretty good angle on him. He doesn't have any particular amazing shots on any of our people. Oh, except the uh, flank on Razor Captain, obviously. Might want to take care of that one before he becomes an issue, right? So, we have shots, though. We do have shots. But I'm thinking Razor Captain needs to get out of this uh, position first. Even though he does have a shot, I, I don't want to risk it. So... If anything, maybe we could even kind of sneak back around. Let's have you come over here instead. Okay. Dopey, you'll have nothing for this turn, unfortunately. So let's just kind of get you moved over here for possibly the following turn. Duff Foods has a shot. Black Iron has no shot. So Duff Foods, what are you looking at right now? You're looking at 65, which isn't too bad, honestly. Um... But we could just overwatch him to make sure he stays there. So let's do that. And then Black Iron. You have no shot. Let's go into Overwatch as well, just in case. Um, actually, or maybe... Just in case he decides to move. We have two Overwatches going, right? Alright. What is your move, my friend? Taking a shot. That's fine. So, he is not going to be in Overwatch, meaning we could be really aggressive about our moves right now. How aggressive is still yet to be known. Uh, Victor. Let's see, where do we want to get Victor to? Ah, uh, that's not cover. I kind of want to sneak up behind him, this is my real thing. The thing is, I can get over the way over there even by running and gunning. So let's just make the easy move over here first. I hope there's no pots left. That would be the kicker right now. Oh, we actually do have a shot. Oddly enough. <clears throat> but I did dash to get there, so it won't be applicable right now. Uh, Dopey, let's, uh, you know, keep you behind full cover if we can. I don't want to get too risky with that, um, outsider. You do have a shot right now, which is 60. You know what? These shots aren't too bad, all things considering. Moving to position. Let me move you here. What is this one at? 63. Yeah, these shots aren't bad at all. I could probably even end this if I wanted to get really aggressive. The thing is that I don't want to have shit blow up in my face. Black Iron, how far in can you get? Doesn't seem you can, oh actually you can. You could literally get up top of him over here and shoot him if it comes down to it. Okay, and then we have McGee over here as well. Let's move uh, American McGee over here and do our thing. Alright, so you'll move here. Um, you? I don't sure yet. I still want to keep you there. I don't think it's a really good, wise idea to move you half cover, but I'm going to do it just because then I could kind of push this person forward a bit. You're going to be only in half cover, so what I'm going to do instead of um, having you Overwatch is just hunker down just to play it safe. Uh, Dopey, you're going to go into Overwatch instead of taking that shot. Next turn is the way I'm thinking we're Assault, so we want to just keep him here for now. And then Razor Captain, you will go and hang out right about here. Do you have a flash? You do. You know what? Just to play it safe, let's flash him if we can. We should be able to, right? No, we can't? Not to call bullshit on that one, but okay. Let's just steady weapon. Alrighty, where are you going? You're retreating back, which is fine. You're going to trigger a lot of uh, overwatches. Oh, enough for the kill as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> Mission over! Oh, nice! And we got a lot of good stuff out of it, I have to imagine. Continue going forward, alrighty. That went really, really well. Did we take any damage? I don't think we did. Honestly, I don't think we did. I mean, sure, it was just a scout ship. I can't necessarily be over here praising. Plus, it's only a sectoid and floater and seekers, but, you know, work, small Commander. steps. Our have to be good after McGee, like got to level up. You are a gunner, so let's go with hollow targeting could be good. Flush and covering fire allows reaction shots to trigger an enemy attack, not just movement. Um, could be good. Flush, fire a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. The shot is easy to hit with, but does reduce damage. I kind of want this, honestly. I like ho hollow targeting, but I figure we could do that with our scouts and then follow it up with, a, you know, other people instead of hollow targeting now. Shooting at an enemy confers plus enemies on these enemies, yeah. 
shooting at or suppressing enemies also confers a plus 10 to allies attacks on those enemies. Um, I'm gonna go with flush. Probably not the right move. I'll, you know, I'll get hollow targeting on somebody else, but, you know, let's kind of differentiate, kind of like get different skills for different classes here. Uh, my assault, we got flush, um, no. Close combat specials, it confers a reaction shot against any enemy who closes to within four tiles, does not require overwatch. Ooh, warning, will activate even if unit is concealed. This actually is pretty good, I believe, when it comes to, um, chrysalids, if I'm right. So yeah, let's go with close combat specialist. Black iron, what do you have for me? Damn good ground, hollow targeting, rapid reaction. Let's go with um, hollow targeting. And then Razor Captain. Infantry, we'll go with Executioner, covering fire or steadfast. We'll go with Executioner. Alrighty, good. Sectoid Corpse, Floater Corpse, Illyrium, Alien Alloys, Weapon Fragments, two UFO flight computers, not damaged, and some, some Seeker X and a Power Source. Really good shit, man. Alrighty guys, let's call it an episode here. That went really well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does me a lot, not only for the continuation of the series, but for the overall growth of the channel. Other than that, I will catch you next time.